Hello, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer at Austin Ableton Tutor, and my stage name is Rentac. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm just going to go quickly over a basic technique called mid-side EQing. This is a really good technique for when you're using really heavily textured basses or pad sounds like this one. So it's got a lot going on in the stereo field, a lot of different sounds. I don't want to mono the whole thing because you, generally you want to just mono the bass and it's, that's going to be your best option. So what mid -side, the mid-side technique allows me to do is to just basically mono the lower frequency. Ableton's EQ8 has built-in mid-side EQing. If you'll notice right over here in the modes section, you can hit the drop-down menu and select MS. And now we can click on the edit mode between M or S. I'm just going to click on it so at the sides are showing. And then I'm going to go in and just cut the lows. And I'm going to set the frequency cutoff to about 150 hertz. To cut, basically to cut all of the lows out of the sides below 150 hertz. Now let's play the sound. And notice in the VU meter, you can see the left and right. And it's not quite bouncing around as much as it was before, but it still has left and right character to it. So I'm going to AB it so you can see the difference. Pay attention to the VU meter here. Now I'm going to bring it back in. And also take a look to, at the spectrograph. I'm going to I'm going to pop it open so you can see the big picture. So I don't want to cut everything out of the sides. It makes it sound really boring. But we can keep quite a bit. I could even cut as high as 500 hertz if I really want to clear it up. I generally, by default, I start at 150. That's because I read that vinyl mastering, I usually cut the sides at 150 to keep the needle from skipping out. Uh, but you can go wherever you really feel is good. For this particular sound, you know, I'm feeling probably cutting a little more out. It's starting to really clean up at around three or 400 hertz. So now it'll mix in better when I add other elements, or if like I had an actual sub under this, it would even be better. I might even cut some of the actual bass out of the other frequencies too. Now the other, so the other handy thing is I can switch over to the mid and maybe I want to boost a little. So I'm going to bring this back down I, so I can work with the uh, smaller version of the EQ8. And I'm just going to add another point and I can maybe add some more air to the sound. Let me, let me go ahead and uh, solo it so we can just focus on that. So I'm just adding some more high end to the sides to really liven up the sound and let's hear it in the mix. And that's basically pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about. Just keeping this quick and simple. Uh, Mid-side EQing. The other thing, you know, as default, I go in and just cut the sides around 150, 200. Put it on my kick drum. Anything with low end, I put it on my return tracks, all my reverbs and delays. Pretty much put it across the board. A little bit in a lot of places does a lot in the end. Same, with, uh, same tip for side chain compression side chain a little bit to your kick everywhere and then it really counts in the end rather than a lot in one place it'll make a big difference anyway uh thanks for watching and i'll check you out next time thank you for watching and i hope you found this video very helpful i'm available for private lessons and classes online and in the austin texas area feel free to contact me for more information and check out my website austinabletontutor.com also check out my other videos
and like Austin Ableton Tutor on Facebook.